Namaste, Shalom, Salam, everybody. How are you? Now, today I want to talk about karma and curses and energy. My knowledge comes from the work I do as, um, I'd like to say the word healer. Um, and I guess that's right in one sense, but I'm also... Um, I'm a shepherd to help guide you to your own healing, your own knowing, because as a healer, all I do is to facilitate the release of energy to bring it to your natural state and or to release emotions to bring it to your natural state, which is abundance, joy, health and happiness and love. <clears throat> I want to speak today because I had a client today who um, has been a client for, for some time and what initially started off with bad dreams um, and a relationship breakdown was actually tied energetically to so many people in her life so the breakdown of her relationship was tied to energetic bonds between herself the family of the partner um, and what i did um, when i go into my altered states of consciousness to access the souls um, we found out the truth of what was actually going on. And this was a process because some people are chosen to break those bonds of karma or curses so that an entire family generation is cleared. And she was one of those. And sometimes when you understand that you are that person, it can be a struggle because there's two routes to take here. One is to become a victim and the other is to rise up and take the challenge. But you need to know first what that challenge is. And generally that comes from despair. So when that despair or that suffering or that breakdown of a relationship or that trial comes along is when you have a choice. And actually, I truly, I know that those that do seek help are the ones who in their soul know that that's their job. And it's an honor to be that warrior of all generations. It really is. Um, and I honor all of you that have chosen that path because it is a path that you have ultimately chosen to heal the wound of generations. And it's not easy. Um, as I said, this woman is, is a regular client and calls. Uh, we do the, the, the work over the phone as I can channel her energy and the energy of anybody, really, the soul. And the thing that was very apparent with her and other clients is that many lifetimes prior, there has been curses or negative energy bonds which were placed lifetimes ago and unfortunately when those bonds are created the only way to remove them is a to know that they're there first and once we know they're there we need to know the source so whoever has placed that curse or whoever has um a curse isn't necessarily something that you do when it's like oh i curse you it's what a curse basically is, is intense energy felt by somebody accompanied with words or thought. So if you are in a heightened state of some sort of emotion, whether that's anger or fear or love, like when you really feel those emotions, and that is accompanied with words, then what happens? 
that creates that energetic bond. So in a past life, say somebody lost a child and then maybe their sister had a child at the same time, the one who lost the child might be angry and then say something, oh, I just, that should be me, she should never have children, you know, something like that. Because the emotion is so great, it creates, and this is the secret of the universe, energy in motion. So once the words, yes, your words are powerful, but when there's something attached to it, which comes from a place of hurt or fear or great love. Um, when I say great love, um, how can love, great love hurt somebody? Well, you might love somebody so much that that turns into a possession or an obsession that you don't want anybody else to have that person or, you know, anyway, so that, that is the general, if there's a negative energy attached to it. You don't think it is at the time if you think I love this person so much, I want them all to be mine, I don't want anything else in the world to be here apart from me and that person. Then that could happen that in the future you have no family. So when you've got such strong emotions attached to words, it becomes an energy that sets emotion in place. So that's why you should be very careful. And also understand that the people in your lives, the things that are going a bit topsy-turvy, the relationships, um, the illnesses even, um, that they're caused by some sort of energetic bond. I had a client who had cancer and that was an energy that was stuck within him because of a, uh, he didn't know his dad. He had a view that his dad was a wonderful man, but when they came, his whole family came to me, um, it was understood that there was a secret. And that energy of the secret that his wife was holding existed in this family. And even though he didn't know it, it was felt. And this secret came out and the cancer was cured. I'm hoping that you understand the message in this short video and that it assists you in coming back to yourself and being the master of yourself because then you can set energy in motion in the way that you truly desire become an observer of your thoughts and your words become an observer of your thoughts and your words then you can truly participate in this beautiful, beautiful gift that we call Hayat, life. Namaste, Shalom, Salam.